Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of July 2020. Now the card that represents your partner or person of interest is the King of Swords. Wow, we've been getting this King of Swords <laughs> mostly all uh, signs I've done up until now. Uh, so a lot of air type of energy now the obstacle to overcome is the queen of pentacles and the knight of swords is indicating your energy libra okay so what i'm seeing here is that people that are currently dealing with you or the people you may be dealing with at the present time see you very disconnected I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys have been going through this transition through this, I want to say the past two years where there is a lot of purging and releasing or trying to release the past. Now I do have here the king of swords. This could be very well your energy Libra. And I feel what spirit is saying is that there has been some traumatic events in your past that have led you to where you're at at this present time when it comes to love and when it comes to romance. It's almost a feeling of emptiness or a feeling of this heaviness that I am feeling in my heart. It's almost like some type of hurt, some type of some type of major transformative type of energy and it's for some of you guys you may be dealing with earth energy capricorn taurus virgo but i feel that this has more to do with a person that you just haven't moved on from or a person that you're still emotionally invested in but with the Knight of Swords, I feel that you are trying to figure out what it is that you want. And I'm almost getting like the feeling of not knowing exactly what it is that you want. For some of you guys, you may actually be in a relationship, but I feel that there is this heaviness that's weighing on your mind about someone that is from your past. And it's almost like it was a very deep connection. Like I see this very rooted. For some of you guys, you, you could be still dealing with like a soul type of energy, soul type of connection. And for some of you guys, it could have been a situation that was out of your control. Um, because although I don't see the three of swords here, it, it's a feeling of that. It's almost a feeling of some type of hurt, some type of, I don't want to say betrayal, but for some of you guys, it could be very well a betrayal, something that you still are healing from. And for others of you, it could be that just timing wasn't right in this connection. I feel that there was a lot of like chaotic energy around you or influencing you or, you know, that you were dealing with. There was a lot of things that you were dealing with that this relationship didn't get to flourish the way you would have hoped it did or you would now, looking back, have wanted it to flourish. Because it's almost like, it, it's. I'm hearing like, this was it or this was the person for me and there is a feeling of there's a feeling of regret there it there's feelings of regret there's feelings of where do i go from this strong connection and even if you've dated multiple people or even if you've moved on it's almost a feeling like you continuously compare or you continuously keep searching for this specific individual in other people. So what Spirit is saying is that with the Knight of Swords, I feel that 
there is a desire to want to reach out because if you guys can see here the knight of swords is in this tarot is on their knees it, it's like a feeling of i let them down or there's a feeling of i let my happiness down i let myself down i it's like you're 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 bringing your defenses down you are showing vulnerability but this is what's unfolding so I don't feel that you're there just yet, but if you can see here, it's like you are kneeling to this queen of pentacles. So I feel that it's not, you know, in a physical aspect, obviously, I feel that it's emotional. And it's almost like a feeling of rendering or reacting to your emotions. So for some of you guys, I feel that it could be, I feel that for some of you guys, it could be getting to the point of realization. And for some of you guys, it could even be pride that is in the way. But I feel like you're still resisting the acceptance and I think that for the remaining of the month, going into August, there may be some major transitions that happen. It's almost like spirit or the universe is leading you to, to this connection. I feel that there's a revisiting of this connection or there is an acknowledgement of something that you've been suppressing for quite a while. Now doesn't have to be a queen of pentacles this could be their moon sign um but i feel as if because if you look at this she is in her power now keep in mind it's a general reading it doesn't have to be a female it could be a male but it's like she's in her power she's in her e even like crossing her arm almost like in a defensive mode and I feel that this connection really transformed her or him. But I feel that in that hurt or in that separation or whatever this was, I feel that she has become her own or he has became his own. It's like, they needed to and and keep in mind they themselves are going through this hurt or they went through that hurt where now they've gotten to the point of perhaps they realize sooner than you did yes this was a deep connection yes this was real but if it was you the one that walked out on them it's almost like they had to rebuild themselves back up from scratch and it's like it, it, it's a very heavy energy it's an energy of feeling of like torture and i feel that both may be like torturing towards each other because it's a feeling of wanting to be whole wanting to be together wanting to come back towards each other but I feel that this person may be extremely guarded. If this was you, the one that walked out on them, it could be that they feel like you let them down and they did not only have to go through that separation or that breakup or that completely ghosting them, but they had to rebuild themselves back up. And I feel that it created, it made them stronger. But I feel that you could have been distracted or you could have been moving on only to come back to the realization of this was the person for me. I feel that you guys are not done. I feel that this connection is not over with yet. I feel that there is a revisiting. Now, keep in mind, you guys, we do have a few planets in retrograde right now. So 
I would not be surprised if there is a reconnection or there is a revisiting of this situation. Um, let's see what Spirit's final messages are here. Spirit, what is the final message for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to this situation, in regards to love and romance for the remaining of July 2020? What is the final message? caretaker so I feel that for some of you guys this situation could have been that you weren't really able to make a life with this person or you weren't able to progress this connection or this relationship because maybe for some of you guys family depends a lot on you guys it could have been that other things were going on in your home that it was just too much to deal with at some point. And the caretaker card symbolizes the energy of sometimes self-sacrificing our happiness for other people. But I think that what Spirit is telling you is that when does it get to the point of making yourself a priority, Libra? Of making yourself happy? We must understand that we cannot always save everyone around us. And we are no help if we can help ourselves. So this is, this is a message of it's time for you to nurture and care for yourself, Libra. Whatever that may mean to you. But it is important to do so. Because you can go on living. Because it's almost a feeling like I'm missing a part of something. Like I'm missing a part of myself. And it's almost like for some of you guys, you guys have lost yourself. It, it's a feeling of I don't feel anything. Like you're numb to it. Or you've learned to numb yourself. So that there's no feeling of misery or sacrifice but you are yet still sacrificing yourself. It's time for you to nurture and take care of yourself, Libra. Even if it means having the need to pick up the pieces of perhaps something you don't want to deal with or you haven't dealt with up until now. But it is necessary. Now, we just recently experienced the lunar eclipse. There is a lot of major transformative type of energy and that of carrying on or feeling like you've been sacrificing yourself is getting like it's been suppressed, but it's coming to surface and you need to deal with that now. In order for you to be a good lover, a good boyfriend, a good girlfriend, a good husband, a good wife you need to start taking care of yourself and putting your priorities or feelings, acknowledging your feelings, stop suppressing them. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you some type of guidance and we'll see each other soon.